Good happy Thursday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. First up, man 66 injured in a TV rollover. Fish and game officials are crediting a 16-year-old hunter with helping a Jefferson man call 911 after he crashed his ATV. Officials said Robert Keene, 66, was riding along North Road in Jefferson around 4 p.m. Wednesday. He tried to navigate a ditch, but his ATV rolled over. The young hunter was in the area and heard his calls for help. Keenan, Keenan was taken to Wicks, Wicks Medical Center in Lancaster with non-life-threatening injuries. Teen missing from Ridge School. Authorities are searching for a missing teen in Ridge. Fish and Game officials said Julian Hopster, 16, was last seen at the Hampshire County School around 8 p.m. Wednesday. The school is located in range between Routes 119 and 124. Hofster is 6 feet tall, 200 pounds, and has brown hair. He was last seen wearing a blue coat. Will Gardner accept Sanders primary filing? <coughs> what will Secretary of State Bill Gardner do when U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders of Vermont comes into his office Thursday afternoon to file his candidacy for New Hampshire primary? Republican leaders discuss primary challenge for Kelly Ayotte. Senator Kelly Ayotte is up for re-election next year and faces a tough fight, but now she could have to defend herself from members of her own party. Small Plane registered to New Hampshire crashes off New York City. One body has been recovered after a small plane registered in New Hampshire crashed about a mile and a half off Bracey Point in Queens, New York. Senate report says New England sports team participation in paid patriotism. New England teams are on a long list of professional sport teams that accept money for so-called paid patriotism. A report in the U.S. Senate revealed that the New England Patriots, Boston Red Sox, Boston Bruins, and Boston Celtics were all paid to host tributes to the troops. It's Restaurant Week in Portsmouth. The table is set for the 15th Restaurant Week in Portsmouth. Portsmouth, and Seacoast. The event is 
November 5th to the 14th. There are more than 50 restaurants participating in what can only be considered one of the best deals in the culinary experience exploration. Any three course dinner cost $29.95 per person and $16.95 for lunch. 50 restaurants in Portsmouth and Seacoast are participating this fall. Senator Marco Rubio holds town hall in Nashua. Senator Marco Rubio held a town hall in Nashua Wednesday night, just a day after a Tampa Bay Times article accused him for changing more than 16000 in personal expenses to a Florida GOP credit card when he was Speaker of the Florida House of Representatives. O'Malley, Trump officially filed to run in New Hampshire primary. The first round of presidential candidates made it official Wednesday, registering with the New Hampshire Secretary of State for the first in the nation primary. Executive Council approves special session for heroin legislation. The legislators will re reconvene this month for a special session intended to address New Hampshire's substance abuse crisis. Commissioner examine DCYF releases recommendations. A commission created to look into child abuse death in the state has released its first report supporting recommendations that police have more access to records. Recount possible in Manchester Mayor Race. A recount is possible in the Manchester Mayor Race after Incumbent Mayor Ted Gastis apparently won by a slim margarine. Man shot, killed outside his home in Manchester, authorities say. Police are investigating after a Manchester man was shot and killed outside his home Tuesday evening. Investigators said Michael Pentman, 37, was killed outside his apartment at 472 Granite Street. No arrests have been made. Inside Fox Lake Cops Examination Criminal Acts Before Suicide. A veteran Illinois cop used his department's youth explorer post as a piggy bank for years, lunging, lending during the crash that spending it on everything from adult website to travel expenses before committing suicide in September. His expenses criminal acts would be revealed, police said. Significant possible explosion downed Russian plane UK. There is a significant possibility that the Russian jet that crashed in Egypt this weekend was brought down by an explosive device. British 
Foreign Secretary Philip Harmond said today. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Thursday. See you back here later. Goodbye.